Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help tell the story of the 20th century. In the last of a five-part look at Hollywood directors who made films for the U.S. government during World War II, we featured director John Huston and The Battle of San Pietro, a 32-minute U.S. Army film depicting the December 1943 battle, which destroyed the town of San Pietro, Italy. Praised at the time for a realistic portrayal of a battle that killed over a thousand Americans, the film was actually composed almost entirely of reenacted scenes. Before showing the film, we speak with film historian Mark Harris. The book is titled Five Came Back, a story of Hollywood and the Second World War. And joining us from New York is Mark Harris. As we look at some of the leading directors from this time period, including John Huston. The Battle of San Pietro was shot by John Huston in uh, Italy and um, was intended to be uh, a document commissioned by Frank Capra of the successful uh, U.S. effort to free a small ancient Italian village. Capra told Houston to go to Italy in search of a town that could provide images of things like joyful and grateful villagers emerging from their hiding places with with rounds of cheese and uh, loaves of bread and casks of wine to greet the victorious Americans. Um, Houston got to Italy uh, and found the right town, but uh, he, the battle was already over. The town had been retaken. There were no villagers in sight, and the town was still mined with uh, German traps. So what he did was, uh, with the full knowledge and enthusiastic cooperation of the army, to restage the battle. The Battle of San Pietro, the, this film, is fake. It's all reenactments. Reenactments done on that location and with actual U.S. soldiers, but none of it is real. It was very successfully passed off to the American public uh, as, um, as predominantly actual battle footage, and the Army even put out press releases saying Houston and his men were so brave that they actually preceded the army um, uh, on the front so that they could then turn around and film the soldiers, you know, uh, uh, approaching, which is one way you always know that a battle documentary has been faked because filmmakers don't go first. Um, but uh, what's interesting is that uh, even though this was a big piece of fakery, um, only a, a minute or two of it is, is real footage. Um, it also helped create a new visual vocabulary for what battlefield realism looked like. Houston didn't fake the movie because he wanted to put something over on the American public. He faked the movie because it was the only way he knew how to convey what he understood of the realities of ground combat and, and of ground troops advancing, which is something that had not been successfully shown in uh, an American documentary before. So even though what you're watching isn't real, what Houston is going for in the movie is in fact a kind of realism, and it turned out to be a kind of realism that was very influential on many filmmakers after the war in terms of uh, creating an understanding for us of how to shoot uh, battle footage that looks like real battle footage. rained most of the night, and it was raining at eight hour when the second and third battalions crossed the line of departure. Some 200 yards forward, they encountered mines and automatic fire from pillboxes. 